Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Can you tell it's gifting season again? Gifting gifting sweet season again. This time it's for the Teen Choice Awards, as you can see. I know, look at all of this. Isn't this just pure fun? Okay, now you don't have to be a teen to go ahead and enjoy this. I mean, we see some other people because they have people that are major influencers, yeah, that are talking to people and showing things what they're up to. But, I mean, well, oh, I guess you're going to get done news, huh? Anyway, we're going to bring all Camel's comments on the headlines of today. And President Obama understands concerns about the abuse of security programs. Guy has no clue. I mean, he's he's basically lied to the he basically yesterday lied to the tech people. This morning, uh, in in violation of what he told people, email services were shut down because they were dealing with Snowden and other people. But we had nothing to do with it. Oh, you mean the secretary, the uh, senator uh, Holder, basically? Well. He doesn't keep me appraised of everything he's doing for national security. And NSA does not do domestic spying. Oh, yes, NSA does do domestic spying. They just admitted it yesterday. But they only listen for keywords. And if, those, if, it, if it turns out to be innocent, they immediately delete it within seconds. That's why they're building a facility the size of a city out in the middle of a desert so that they can not hold the material that they say they just delete in a minute, in a second. So. And the 68th anniversary of Hiroshima bombing. Oh yeah, they're condemning the United States rapidly. Okay, you know what Herbie Daddy says? My, okay, we're going to try to put a simple method. My father was a soldier in World War II. My my wife was Japanese, and my 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 father loved my wife. But my, my when my because it's tradition that the Japanese when they marry off a daughter that they offer something to the to the family of the of the one that's marrying the daughter and they asked my father what he wanted and he said for you to commit Harry Carey you yeah uh-huh yeah and Bain are no decisions made on whether the house will defend Obamacare oh no Obama basically uh, he's probably going to give everything Obama wants plus more because he's scared the the press is going to say that we've done something bad I listened last night to Ann Coulter Ann Coulter says they're going to condemn the Republicans no matter what. She said, if you got to, okay, here's okay, here's one, half of my family are Jews. And my, in my family, which is funny, my, my grandfather was a Jew and my mother, grandmother was Irish. And she basically always liked what the one Jewish saying, which she thought was appropriate for the Irish. She said that uh, if you know you're going to die, you have a choice of dying either as a ram or a lamb. Why would you want to die as a lamb? This is what the Republicans are doing. Republicans basically, well, we, we, we're going to get bad press from the, from the press you know, on the left if, we, if the President of the United States shuts the government down because we don't obey him. Mm -hmm. Who cares? They're not being elected by the left. Mm -hmm. And methane hydrate could soon become more controversial than fracking. Uh, yeah, because uh, yeah, because it, they, basically they condemn it for everything you could think of. Fracking, basically what's going to happen, that uh, Obama, okay, they think that uh, the Russians are going to start fracking and that the, and the South Africans are going to start it and, uh, and, the, and the Arabs are going to start it. Guess who's the only country in the world that's being restricted? Mm -hmm. I can't see where it's going to do anything, basically, you're, you're going through the structure, strata structure to begin with when you're drilling oil. All you're doing is basically infusing the oil to bring the oil to the surface. You're not damaging anything. Well, it could cause, it, there's the possibility there could be an accident. Well, um, walk, okay, they said walking, you can get killed. So, th is that a reason to stop walking? And immigration supporters plan to turn up the heat on House Republicans. That's not going to work because the heat's being turned up. I mean, you tell, I, I saw it yesterday, a guy, Republicans are trying to keep away from town hall meetings, mm -hmm. our meeting with their constituents because of yesterday. They basically told the guy, he said, if you vote to allow people that are criminals to stay in this country and get a free pass on everything, we're going to kick your ass out of all, and he said, we can't have talk like that in this room. Oh, and he said, what, about your ass or we're going to throw you out of office? Mm. And uh, he was not happy. And use of languages other than the English in the U.S. on the rise, census. Oh, we don't speak English. I mean, you can go into places mm. on Sundays in this country, you cannot find a person that can speak English. I mean, we have literally went into McDonald's at rush hour, and I'm, I'm having to go, dos, 
they're telling people which one I want. No, uno, dos. And you because they can't speak English. Mm -hmm. All they got, okay, they, they, they actually have cash registers that are in Latin so that they can basically do business now. And post Romney, some GOP reject advice to moderate. Okay, um, I have no clue of what goes on other than they said, here's what it was. Republicans want to be loved by the Democrats because that's how they feel. That if we do what the left wants, we're going to be elected, not as Republic. Okay, here's what they said last night. It's scaring the hell out of the party leaders. It's called third party. Ooh. And that, that, okay, the, the independents don't want Hillary Clinton and the independents don't want Republicans. And if they're, you put the Republican right and the independents together, that is a formidable power. And Representative Isa accuses the IRS of obstructing investigation. Well, you know, would they have just, they have put the uh, they have put the request for information in the filing cabinet. Okay, I have a relative that's basically trying to get something settled on her passport, and uh, every time she is close to the top, there's a new pile put on the top of her because she's Jewish, and she happens to have the same name as a person. Of course. She's six foot two inches tall and red haired and looks like a fashion model. She doesn't quite look like a short little Arab woman. No, not at all. I know, but they don't care. Do newly intercepted Al Qaeda threats justify NSA snooping? Well, that's what the that's what the people at the top of the Democrat and Republican Party are saying. That what? it shows that it's working. Well, no, because it's, the problem was the intercepted threats were not intercepted by the NSA. They were intercepted by the CIA, which is a totally different organization. Oh, speaking of which, what the president says that there will be, oh, actually he said nothing would happen because of Snowden and, and what's the NSA? Instead, all these email um, providers are down today? Oh, yeah, they shut them down permanently, shutting down emails to Permanently shut people. down? Well, as far as they're concerned, well, they're all saying that that the, uh, it was our decision to do this. Well, earlier this morning, they were all going to court. Now, a few minutes ago, they made the announcement that it was our decision for the good of the security of this country, which means they uh, were threatened by the uh, NSA, and which has no authority to operate in the United States. And outrage simmers on the 48th anniversary of the Voting Rights Act. For some reason, okay, they think that, well, we should, we, we are entitled to have the elections ran as we want them to be ran. No, um, even, okay, eventually people get tired of being, somebody being victimized. When, what happens is, is that the, the, the Afro-Americans are pissed off at the Democratic Party because they've decided that the Latinos are now their best buddies. And it turns out that nearly everybody wants GMO labeling. I don't, I don't know of anybody that wants GMOs. This is Obama garbage again. That, you know, well, we're not going to forbid it, we're just going to hide it under the counter, and you have to specifically ask for it. Yeah, well, like french fries. Yeah, they're not going to hide the big stuff, you're just going to ask it. There's not going to be on a menu. It's just like half of the stuff on some companies that like you know, burger. is no longer on menus anymore, but you can't order them if you know it. And federal judge now throws a roadblock for those in Illinois looking to immediately carry concealed weapons. Um, it's a Democratic judge that basically is anti, it wants pure gun control. It passed overwhelmingly in the state because they're, they're okay, they're worried that, they're, okay, here, oh, you know what Herbie Daddy says? They're worried that gangs will conceal weapons. These are the guys that ride up in an automobile, get out of the automobile, take their guns out, and kill people. They aren't concealed. They don't even try to hide them. And President Obama says, I do not think it's appropriate to boycott the Olympics. We're not going to boycott. This was Lindsey Graham's idea. What a moron. The boycott. <laughs> he, well, his problem in the United States this morning, he, got, he basically stuck his ass up uh, to Putin. And this morning, American businesses are now shutting their factories down in the Soviet Union because there's what? no sale. There's no business now. What? They have retaliated against America's business because of uh, the president and his uh, asinine attitude towards the Russians. Oh my gosh, and a Monty bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Uh, okay, that you can only lie so often before even the people that support you can think you're lying.